right, let's get started on the to-do list. I took some time out to uh, to go look at the 1.19 snapshot that came out and to go look at some uh, changes to Skulk and some changes to the Warden and the Ancient Cities and all of that stuff's really cool. And uh, you can see the playlist. I'll put an info card up there in the corner. But, uh, but right now, let's get on this to-do list, which starts with a pillager outpost. So there are a couple of different ways to find a pillager outpost. Uh, because I am using x Arrow's world map, I can easily just kind of jump out here to the map and go, where is a pillager outpost? And you can spot them. They have a, uh, they have a dark brown roof, and they're roughly square. So down here, we've got this square of dark brown. That's a pillager outpost. And let me see if I can find any others nearby. Um, that's a ruined portal. There's another one right there. That's a pillager outpost. Not significantly farther away. It's 1887, 1207. That's uh, 600 this way and 2400 that way. Oh my God. That's way too far. So uh, this one's much closer. This one over here, I can get to almost entirely by water. I just sail around that one island and then up this river. That one's relatively simple to get to. Um, that's probably the best one, it looks like. Do we have anything near spawn? It would be nice if we had something near spawn. What about that? That's a ruined portal again. That's a ruined portal. Okay, yeah, I am not seeing... I'm not seeing a pillager outpost near spawn. Although from spawn... Nah, that's not a... That's not a particularly useful... How about that? That's a ruined portal. That's a ruined portal. That one we've already looked at. So it looks like that one's the smart one. But both of those are in uh, are in savanna biomes. Have we got one? It would be neat if we found one in a snowy biome. That would be cool. Okay, it looks like it looks like this is the one over here. Now I can just teleport over there because of the uh, because of the house rules and the map thingy. But uh, let's see, that's at twenty three ninety six minus seven oh nine. So that's still like eighteen hundred blocks away. <laughs> And over here is the one that, uh, over here is the little village that I built my proof of concept in for a different type of villager breeder. And what I can do, and... What I can do is run in here and, well, I'm within the boundary of a beacon. So within the boundary of a beacon, my house rules say I'm allowed to use the locate pillager outpost command, and I can do that. The closest one is at 2384 minus 720, which is, uh, if we pull up the map again, that's the first one that I found, which is down here, 2384 minus 720. That's, uh, that's this one down here. And that, no, it's, uh, 384 minus 720. Okay, that's the one over here, then. Yeah, 2384 minus 720, which is right there, right in that vicinity. So that's the closest one, and since that's the closest one, and I already found it on the map and all of that, then, uh, I think I'll go to that one. But, I'm gonna use my El Yatra. And in order to use my Elyatra, I'm going to need to grab some fireworks rockets. Pull out Rock Swiper, put that away, and then I'll put that away, and then I'll put the rockets in my offhand. And we'll step over here. 2384 minus 720. Where, 
is going to try to ballpark these angles. Head down, skim the surface, and head back up. There we go, I see it. I'm going to do one more rocket, so it's taken me two rockets to get up here. And now, I can just drop that ender chest. And I can put my uh, put my ripper shirt back on, put the Elytra away, and put the rockets away. So that's two rockets to get out here. And that is an important question: is uh, how well can you get down here? Now let's see if we can. Uh, See if we can take out a couple of these guys at range. Pow. I'm too far away for them to see me. But, uh, of course, Okay, let's uh, head down here. And I think at this point I'm close enough that I won't get any more spawning. You just gotta kinda... Work my way around to make sure I... God damn it! There we go. I'm just going to take these guys out bit by bit. <laughs> See if we can't get up here. This isn't very difficult. I expected this to be a tougher... Uh, expected this to be a tougher fight. Um, I was right, you little shit. Okay, so I'll head over here. I hear somebody. All right, where is the little shit? This may be a tough fight, actually. All right, I got to the top and I got the chest, so yay, pillager outpost raided. I have stolen a pillager outpost. I'm going to try stealing some banners. Pillager banners are cool. Three sides. 
sides. So here's the fourth side. And really the important thing here is that uh, I think it spawns a whole bunch more pillagers when you actually, like, get to the top or something. Okay, so... Have I got all eight banners? I have got all eight banners. All right. And that was all a question of the, uh, it was all done with the bow. So there's the, uh, there's the pillager outpost completed. Relatively simple. Um, what's next on my list? A woodland mansion. Well, I, I don't want to do a woodland mansion like immediately. Also, I did not bring a, um, Gotcha. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty much the best I can do there. And uh, at this point, it's just an empty structure. I will come back here and make something worthwhile at some other point in time. God damn it! I'll just eyeball it.
Turn the stick right around then elevation of 100. And there we go. All right. Made it back home. Got the loot. All right. So. Let's go put everything away. And... I got the bad omen. I do not appear to have bad omen. Awesome. That means I can go hang around a village. Wow, that only took like 17 minutes. Okay. Um, Desert Pyramid? I don't want to do the abandoned mansion yet, or the woodland mansion yet. Let's look at the map and see what we can find in terms of potentially a desert pyramid. There should be one somewhere. Surely there is a pyramid somewhere in this huge quantity of uh, desert right around Spawn. Where exactly is Spawn? Let's uh, let's start looking right at Spawn. So right over here, and we're looking for a suspiciously square structure. There, there's one right there. And this is minus four, minus one. Okay, have we got one closer? It doesn't look like we do. Okay, so what if... What if we look closer to base? Is there one right in this vicinity? Nope, doesn't look that way. I'm not seeing one. Okay, um, so. What I want to do is, again, One more rocket and I'm gonna look around and see if we can't find a pyramid. I'm not seeing one and I'm about out of rockets. So So. 
There's a full stack of rockets here. We'll, uh, we'll make more liberal use of rockets on this trip. And there it is. There's the Desert Pyramid. Ow! That hurt. Well, not really. Okay, now the Desert Pyramid is a relatively simple structure. You just come down here, and uh, the important thing is... get you some torches. Now light things up a little bit. Now, this blue thingy here, that covers up a trap. And everybody knows the trap is here, so. Because all the desert temples have the exact same trap. Oh, I've already looted this one. So I have looted a desert temple. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna look for another one then. Uh, okay, and as you can see, major elements of this structure are buried. We're gonna come out here, and we're gonna walk up here, and we're gonna come over here, and let's pull up the map and see if we can't find something else. Farther out here. Let's come up here and let's look in this vicinity. I'm not seeing one there. Or there. Or there. I'm just looking for suspiciously regular structures. There's one. There's one right there. Minus 456, minus 1671. And you can tell because of that blue dot right there in the middle, because when you look down right here, you can see that blue terracotta right there in the middle. So what we're looking for is we're looking to come up here to... Minus 1671. Yeah, up here. So we're just going to go... Yeah. <laughs> first things first. Let me make myself a stack of torches. So, yeah. Let's see if we can do this on one rocket.
It's looking like a no. Two rockets? Two rockets I think I can do. Let's just glide no rocket on this one. Okay, it's way up the side here, so. Whoa! There we go. Pulled right up. Okay. We pull on up here. We'll come on down here. And we'll go. Uh, no. Okay, I hear something nearby, but I don't see nothing. So well, let's not worry about it. We just come over here. That is potentially an issue. Now here, we got to take that pressure plate because underneath of this is a buttload of TNT. That will blow you the fuck up. And then we have the content of the various chests. And I'll just break the various chests and grab what's in them. And hey presto, I am out of space in my inventory, but that is fine. Because all I gotta do is drop my ender chest and pull out a shulker box. So I pull out that shulker box right there. I run around here and collect that stuff, and I just go, hey, let's put the rotten flesh and the string and the ominous banners and the gunpowder and the carrots, and okay, that's, uh, and the bones. There we go. Now I can collect the rest of the stuff, which includes spider eyes, and here we have an enchanted book with silk touch. That's pretty good. We'll put the TNT away, we'll put the stone pressure plate away, and we will drop a torch so I know I've been here. Take the shulker box, put it, put it back into the ender chest. And now we just Put everything back. We'll put that back, and we'll put that back, and we'll put that back. All right, and all that's done, and we've now raided this desert temple. That's all there is to it. We can now bugger off and head back to base. A desert temple. Well, jungle temple. I gotta find a jungle temple. I should have brought a bed with me. Why didn't I bring a bed with me? Let's see.
Okay, we need to uh, go for a jungle temple here. Look, it's Spawn. We've made it back to Spawn. Point upward to slow down. Glide in for a landing. And now we can come over here and there's a bed. We can make a slap. And there we go. Now, jungle temples. Where do I find a jungle temple? In the jungle, duh. That looks like the jungle. But jungles are hard to see stuff in. That looks suspiciously regular. Minus 266, 681. Okay. Minus 26. Okay. There we go, minus 265, minus 677. So over this way, let me put my Elytra away, put my fireworks away, grab some torches. There we go, a jungle temple. Jungle temples are interesting. They have a trap in them. We have a series of traps in them, actually. Okay, so let's creep our way around. That's not the entrance. Try looking over here. How do we get in? Huh. All right, so have I got my netherite hoe with me? I have. Let's uh, pull out the shovel. Okay, I'll put up a so I can keep my bearings. All right. Now the problem with jungle temples, or at least from a game design perspective, the problem with jungle temples was that um, you don't actually have to engage with any of the traps in them. Because what you can do is you can just mine your way through all of the traps. It's simple and easy, and you don't have to do anything. So what I'm going to do here is 
take things a little bit more seriously. And look around. Let's take a look around here. And you can see right there, we've got a, uh, right there, we've got an arrow trap of some sort. So I'm going to point at this tripwire hook. I'm going to take it down. And there's some tripwire. Okay. And now we've taken down the tripwire hook. And you can see here there's a bit of redstone. I'll pull these arrows out. And we'll grab this dispenser. And we've got a uh, we've got a collection of redstone here, but more importantly, here's another Another tripwire hook. We'll collect that. And we'll pull down this. And look at that, we got treasure. And we got this. And now we can take down. Um, okay. This is obnoxious. We're gonna put the shulker box over here and we're gonna toss some shit in there. Okay. And there's the redstone there. Okay, we have successfully collected everything in this area. But that's not everything. Okay, We've collected everything back here, but there is also a secret puzzle here, and I don't know the solution to it. So that's got to go down. That has to go first, and then that has to go second, right? Let's see what happens when I do that. Okay, that lets that pulls down that one block there. So, and we'll pull that. And it puts it back, okay. Does nothing so far. Not that, no, nope, still nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. That does something. If I pull all three of them... I'm not sure what this middle one does. So no. Uh, 
there. I see a... see a chest which I can easily get to by just breaking a block but that's not fair Okay, so. That's the first one. If I go all three in sequence, then I end up with nothing. Okay. Oh, one, two, one. Okay. I do the middle one first, we get nothing. Okay, so that one pulls this out. What is this doing? I start with this one. I start with that one, it does nothing. So nothing happens unless I start with that one, but I just heard a little bit more than typical. Okay. The order actually matters on this. So we got three potential initial states. Okay. And then we've got... Let's try that. That does nothing. No. Does this put us back into the original state? Yes, it does. Okay. No. I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's look and see what's going on. How does this work? Here's the chest anyway. Okay, how exactly does this work? I want to know. I don't think... I don't think the center switch does anything.
Is that middle switch even hooked up to anything? I don't think it is. Pull that switch, it does nothing because the piston isn't in the proper location. I, th I think that's actually the answer. I think you have to... Um Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think that's how you do it. It was just, um, well, that. So, that means that when you find a desert temple, or a jungle temple, rather, you also find... Three sticky pistons. There's some gold and there's some bones. There's a repeater. Some redstone, some tripwire hooks. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. So I think that's the answer. I think you have to... Um, Open the first one, open and close the second, and then close the first. Okay, so you just put them all back in that original state. Yep. I think that's how it specs out. Okay. So now, it's one in the morning. And I can swap my torches for rockets and make my way to some open space. Damn it. Am I wearing my El Yatra? I am not. Okay. All right, so we're going to fly up this way. And what's up next? Um, an abandoned mine. Well, good for us. There are abandoned mines all over the Badlands. So all we have to do is go poking around a little bit in this general vicinity. close enough we don't need to worry about flying the rest of the way 
although I did use a substantial quantity of my rockets. Well, not like a substantial, substantial quantity. But okay, we're, uh, we're going to go and hit up an abandoned mine here momentarily. And we're uh, we're cranking our way through this. The only thing uh, the only thing we haven't hit out of this list in the uh, in the top half, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten things on the list, and we've already hit three of them. We're about to hit the fourth. Okay, um, you know, before I do that. I'm good. Well, it's morning already. How am I doing in terms of... Um, in terms of space? Okay, let's um, drop the ender chest. We'll uh, put the rockets away. So put the rockets away up there. Right in there, and get my torches back. I got the light shulker box. All right, I've got plenty of room in shulker boxes, so I don't need to go and do anything at this point. I just have to. I should put the El Yetra away. I don't need them. What we're going to do is we're going to look for the entrance to an abandoned mine. In the Badlands. This is pretty easy to find. You can also find them looking around in caves. But uh, the Badlands are right here, so I'm just going to go right there. And um, actually, we're close to an hour on this, so... It looks like we are once again going to be in the situation of I need to figure out what to do with these remaining episodes because the to-do list is being cranked through relatively quickly. Now, was that just a tunnel through the Badlands or did I find an abandoned mine there? That's just a tunnel. Okay. So let's walk around, and what we're looking for is the distinctive structures of an abandoned mine. We will find one, but we won't actually go into it until next episode. So that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the effort here is cranking through this. And figuring out. Okay, so here is the uh, cave spider spawner that we used to build our uh, initial XP farm. The first XP farm we built in this world, in fact. And a cave spider spawner appears as part of an abandoned mine, which means... There's got to be one around here. And there we have the distinctive posts of an abandoned mine right there. But let's take a look here because it looks like that one doesn't lead very far in. So let's have a look up here and see if we can't find... No, nope, that looks like... Uh... Yeah, okay. So as you can see, this short little bit right here, that's part of an abandoned mine, but it doesn't go much of anywhere. Just a little short bit. So let's head over here and see if we've got a larger, more substantial mine. Not there, we don't. Here we've got what's left of one, but nothing meaningful. There's something, but 
Doesn't go much of anywhere. Also, I've kind of sort of been here. Okay. We've searched around there and we've searched around there. And have we got access to a deeper and more substantial area of the mine? No. Not here we don't. What about over here? That's a dead end. Okay, this is um this is problematic. Not finding much. I'm gonna go search over there. There's a lush cave. I'll put that on the list. Uh, this is an azalea tree. Azalea trees grow above lush caves. Digging down into a lush cave would probably help me find a would probably help me find an abandoned mine. So yeah. Okay, let's do that. We could also collect some glow berries. That'd be fun. Um, yeah. Okay, so that will be... We're going to start right here. And, uh, and I will update the to-do list. And then we will begin the process of jumping into the lush cave and hopefully also the abandoned mine so do the little youtube dance like comment subscribe all of that shit hit the bell icon and uh, okay bye